Alright, so today being Sunday, I was thinking something different for Sunday supper. So I'm thinking today we're going to do some grilled pork chops and some cheddar mashed potatoes and maybe a side vegetable. But I'm going to start by getting my uh, pork chops marinating here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil into a dish here. Get a nice amount in there so we can get it coating. And we're going to take the zest of one lemon if you have a regular size lemon. I've seen these in the grocery store. They looked interesting. So we're going to put the zest of a lemon small ones if you find these small ones anywhere and citrus goes with all kinds of meat so and it really adds a good flavor to it mm, I love the small lemon mm -hmm. just standing here doing this right now is like I'm just going all nuts. I want a lemonade and all that right now. I want lemon cream pie. No, you're not getting that right now. These lemons are being used for the pork chops. <sighs> you wanted pork or have a pork? Or you're having pork with lemon. So you'll get your lemon that way. You can just dream it's a lemon cream pie. Mm hmm And you just want to get the top part of the yellow off of here. You don't want to be doing down to the white. The white is sour and not really good eating. So we're now going to also take the juice of the lemon. seed out of there. And there's the other half of it. If you get the small lemons, you only get one seed in them. You get the big lemon, you get 20 million. And unless you live somewhere that you can grow a lemon tree, <laughs> I'd rather deal with one seed coming out than have to hunt all of them down. Oh, there was two in that one. Oh my God, how'd that happen? There's one. I can tell that one had a whole bunch. Let's see, it's out of there. this juice and the pulp in there with it also and because you need a little bit of flavor in things we're going to add a little bit of diced onion this is just simple dried onion that you can get at your own Amish food stores and all that we're going to add some minced garlic also, very little because this dried stuff is strong. And some nice fresh parsley that I got out of our garden. Let me get that all going in there. One other thing we're going to also add to this is a little bit of 
seasoning. Some salt, pepper, put some garlic powder, some onion powder in there. And now, Just going to cover this, let it sit for a couple hours, it'll be ready to throw on the grill. Alright, so we're going to take Dan's new car for a test ride. Got the boys out again today for our day off and we're off and running. So he's having a good time driving. Nice he's already figured out how to get the car into second gear and he's learned what all his little buttons down here do and Poncho's learning to drive. Hmm. Poncho's cold. Isn't and it? Apollo is in his little car spot. We'll Look try the shift tronic going up the hill. Look at him. He's so proud of his little car. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> So, we're going to take a little turn here down the side back road and enjoy the ride. So, on our way back home here after our little ride, and um, yeah, we're going to get home here and that's given our pork chops enough time to marinate, and we're going to get this meal ready to roll. So, our pork chops have marinated overnight. I'm going to just put a little bit of cooking spray here in a grill pan, which, if you have a pan like this, or if you even have one of the cast iron grill pans, they'll all work. But this beautiful Ohio weather, yeah, I'm not barbecuing outside today. So, we got our grill pan nice and hot. Put some cooking spray in there. Get our marinated pork chops here. Oh, oh. listen to that. That's a nice sizzle. That's the sound of love. That's the sound of love. I mean, when you hear that sizzle going on, some of that fresh parsley on this stuff, that's the joy of having a garden, because all my herbs and everything are growing out back, and all i got to do is just go get them. So, we're going to just have these starting to grill here. Gonna just be standing and flipping them and getting them cooked up. I'm gonna get them ready. Our pork chops are all done cooking here. <coughs> That's why, you know, if you have one of these, or like I said, the cast iron grill, even, you know, that weather ain't gonna stop you from barbecuing if you want to barbecue. Even like a George Foreman. Yeah, even the George Foreman grills. Those, those are still good. I mean, and if you can find one or if you even still have one, hey, dig it out. The weather should not dictate to you how your meal is going to be done. So, there you go. Just a little bit of parsley. Some lemon juice and some lemon zest, some olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice, 
Let them sit for a couple hours. We took the dogs for a ride, which is why you may notice I'm in a different shirt, maybe. But give this recipe a try. Hit that like and subscribe. Share the video with your friends, neighbors, and family. See you in the next video. Have a good Sunday.